In Flinto for Mac version 1.2, we added a feature called auto reversing scroll gestures. And it's a big time saver, but it also allows for some unique scrolling effects like this one. And this wasn't possible in the previous version. So let me show you how to do this using that auto reverse feature. So here's my single screen. It's got a scroll group on it and it has all those photos in it. There's a behavior that's around the scroll group. It's important that the scroll group is inside of the behavior group. So I'm gonna go in and edit this behavior so we can see how it works. So there's the scroll group and I've got five states. Each state shows a different photo being scaled up. From the first state, on the scroll group there's a link and so it uses a scroll gesture to take me to the second state. That means when I scroll over this range indicated by the arrow, I'll go to the second state. And from the second state, there's a range that will take me to the third state. But because of the new auto reversing feature, the link that took me from state one to state two is automatically reversed. So if I scroll through that area, which uh, is from zero to about 180, then I arrive at state two. Now, if I scroll backwards, I go through that range that took me from one to two in reverse, and it's automatically added, so you don't see it here in state two. But I've also got the range over here that takes me to state three. So I, in essence, have two ranges, and that's what allows me to go forward and backwards and have the scale up and then the scale down. So when I go from here to here, I've gone from state one to state two. And if I keep scrolling, I go to state three, but if I scroll back in the other direction, it does the auto reverse of the scroll link that took me from one to two and takes me back to one. There's a lot of other things you can do with this feature and I'll be posting some videos in the coming weeks showing some other ideas.